Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is Unit 2, Lesson 12, Navigating a Table of Equivalent Ratios. The objective states, I can use a table of equivalent ratios to solve problems about unit price. We're looking at Activity 12.2, Comparing Taco Prices. It says, use the table to help you solve these problems. Explain or show your reasoning. Noah bought four tacos and paid $6. So I'm going to put that in our table. We have four tacos for $6. At this rate, how many tacos could he buy for $15? Well, to get to 15, 6 doesn't go into 15 evenly, so I'm going to look at something else that might be able to go into 15. So I'm just going to cut both of these in half. I guess I could write divide by 2. And that would mean that two tacos cost him $3. Now to go to from 3 to $15 is pretty straightforward. 3 times 5 is 15, so 2 times 5 is 10. So for 15 tacos, or $15, Noah could get 10 tacos. Uh, Jada's family bought 50 tacos for a party and paid $72. Were Jada's tacos the same price as Noah's tacos? So she had 50 tacos for $72. So I want to know how much Noah paid for 50 tacos. Right now I know that 10 tacos cost $15. So I'm going to take that value and multiply it by 5 to get 50 tacos. Which means I'm going to take 15 and multiply it by 5. 10 times 5 is 50, and 5 times 5 is 25. So his 50 tacos at the rate that he paid would cost $75. Um, so were Jada's tacos the same price as Noah's tacos? No. Jada's tacos cost a little less per taco than Noah's taco. Why? Because for 50 tacos, she paid $3 less than Noah did. We could find that exact rate and figure out how much she paid per taco, but we don't really need to know the exact rate to be able to answer this question. Again, the objective states, I can use a table of equivalent ratios to solve problems about unit price. Thanks for watching.